Good morning, everybody. This is Seth David, and this is our webcast for Thursday, April 30th, 2009. Yes, we do normally do this on Wednesdays, but I was not happy with the outcome yesterday when I recorded it, so I decided to wait until I can re-record it so that I can make it absolutely perfect just for you. So, I wanted to share with you a tip that's based on something I came up with for somebody else this week, and it has to do with kind of a peripheral service that we offer, because here's what happens. The primary service we offer, as you know, is accounting and bookkeeping services. We'll go in, we'll get your QuickBooks cleaned up, we'll take care of all your financial accounting and bookkeeping for you. But a lot of people in the process will ask us, how do I get more organized? Because a lot of accounting and bookkeeping, besides the actual input of bills and payments of bills and invoicing and so on, a lot of it around that has to do with having everything organized. Because when I go into a client's, the client's going to save themselves a lot of money if they're able to quickly hand me, here are all the bills. Just go into the bills. If they have to first scavenge around their office and pick through piles and figure out where the bills are that have to be entered, it's, it's a waste of time. And I'm on the clock and it's going to cost them more money. So being a little organized and taking the time ahead of time to put the time in to get and stay organized saves you a lot of money in the long run. Not just with me, but in general. Because time is money in any business. I don't care what you do, I don't care what you sell, time is money. Which means if I'm organized and I'm efficient, being organized is about one thing at the end of the day. Information retrieval. How long does it take me to retrieve the information I need in order to do what I want to do? If a customer calls me up and wants to know the price of a product, how long does it take me to get them that price? The longer they have to wait, the fewer customers I can get to because the quicker I can get them their price and move on to the next call, the more customers I can handle, the more questions I can field, which means the more potential business I can bring into my business. And yes, that's how I think and it works and it's true. So I want to share with you a little tip that's based on how to use a program that a lot of us use and think of in terms of presentations, but not in terms of how to keep information organized. And it's a great tool for keeping information organized as well as presenting that information at the same exact time. And what I'm talking about is a program we all know pretty much. We've all gotten PowerPoint presentations forwarded to us with pictures of things. But most of us, I shouldn't say most of us, but how many of us actually know how to use the program in such a way that we can really leverage our information and use it to share things with people that we might want to share about ourselves and about our businesses and about what we do. So let me bring over my PowerPoint presentation and notice I don't have to go scavenging around to pull this up. Everything's right here. I prepared ahead of time before recording this webcast. I've got a PowerPoint presentation here, but I'm going to blank this out and I'm going to delete that and we're going to start from scratch on this. And what I'm talking about is this. One of the things we might want to start keeping track of is my Web 2.0 places. Web 2.0 places. Why? Because more and more our businesses are developing a presence using Twitter, Facebook, uh, Plaxo, and uh, YouTube, and all this. So I realized, and I did this for a client earlier this week, is I set up a PowerPoint presentation for them that enables them. I actually, it doesn't enable them. I did it all for them, but I listed all their websites and all their social networking locations by using a table just like this. And what I've done is I've inserted a table. It's very easy to do. I choose insert table. Right? How did I do that? Let me start over. Over here, actually, there's some quick reference links you can click on to insert a table. I can also come over here and go to insert table. And then it'll ask me how many rows, how many columns. I want to do two columns. And let's start with five rows. I'll click on the bottom one and keep hitting tab to add some more rows to kind of fill up the page. Then I want to change the color scheme and in the 2007 version I get to have this drop down in these table tools change the color scheme and then I want to highlight the top row right click and merge cells and we're going to call this table of contents and I'm moving fast for two reasons. One, I want to keep the webcast in 10 minutes and I want to pack a lot of information into it. And I know you can watch the recording again if you need to. But the other reason is I want to show you how quickly you can move through these kinds of things, even the setup of something like this, when you're organized. Let's go with Twitter. And let's call it uh, Nerds Tweets. I can highlight this. Control K. Now i got to go get the address that it wants in there. So let me go to my Explorer window. 
I've got my favorite set up with a folder called social networking. I can get right to Twitter in two seconds. Now the way I've bookmarked Twitter, it takes me right into my timeline. So I need to change that. I don't want to paste this address in there. I want to actually take people to Nerd Enterprises on Twitter. So I'm going to change that there. What I should probably do is rebookmark this. But the truth is, when I go to Twitter, I don't necessarily want to go to my thing. I do want the timeline, and that's why I bookmarked it that way. I come back to PowerPoint, and it assumes that what I've just put on the clipboard is exactly what I wanted to put here. It's smart like that. I click OK. Now let's do Facebook. Nerd on Facebook. Highlight it. Control K to insert a hyperlink. Or you can go up here to insert, and there's an option for a hyperlink. Again, social networking, it's already up. Facebook. And Facebook is slow. It's so slow. Oh, we got my profile. See, I'm looking in the URL up here, and as soon as I see profile references, then I know I've got what I need. And it puts it in there. And I don't want to put the whole link in there. First of all, it's not pretty. Second of all, it's too long. So what I do is I wrap the hyperlink inside some simpler text that makes it very clear. Here's how you get to see Nerd on Facebook. Um, let me. Uh, you, you get the idea now. I've done two of them. But you'd obviously go on and continue doing this for Plaxo, LinkedIn, and wherever else you're, sit, you know, you're set up on Web 2.0. The next thing I want to do, though, is as long as, because the purpose of something like this is what? It's, I'm going to go to a, a, you know, network, business networking events. I'm going to meet people. They're going to give me their cards. And what I have with this is I have a simple PowerPoint presentation that I can email them and say, hey, here's a simple presentation. First of all, you want to connect with me on the social networking sites? The first page is going to give you all the links you need in order to do that. So go find me on the web. I would love to connect with you. But now I can also take advantage of the opportunity while I've got their attention for that purpose to say, and and by the way, here's some more information about my company. And I can put a little bio here. And of course, this is PowerPoint, so I can record a narrative even. That makes the file a little big, so you maybe want to be careful about that. But it's an option. But now I want to link to a place within this document. So I choose under link to place in this document, and I choose more company info. And now I've linked right to another slide there. So now let's save this. And then we're going to save it as, and we're going to call it a PowerPoint show. So I want a .pps, and I'm purposely choosing the 97 2003 version because not everybody's upgraded just yet. So we're going to choose that, and I'm going to say save. And because I've already created this, it asked me to replace it, which I will. And now it's saving. And now I have a PowerPoint presentation that I can quickly and easily email to people. So let's do that. And by the way, here's another thing, keeping organized. I know that I've got this in my webinar documents, and my webinar documents is a folder I access frequently, so I've got a hyperlink that takes me there in two seconds. Now I run my table of contents PowerPoint just to show you, or for that matter, now I can drag it over to an email and attach it. But of course, if I click on Nerds Tweets now, it takes me right over to my Twitter page. And now if I want if I send this to somebody, they can click where it says more company info and it takes them to that page. And over here I could put a little bio. I could put a link to a YouTube webcast, to a YouTube video so that they could watch a little video presentation about me. I mean, the possibilities are endless. I can right click and choose end show on this. And keep in mind, not everybody knows how to use PowerPoint. So now everybody's going to understand how to get the PowerPoint's built-in navigation. So when you're creating something like this, you may want to put in links that take them to the previous slide and to the next slide, as well as doing what I showed you, which is how to jump directly to a specific slide. And by doing that, you've just given yourself another way of advertising yourself or your company and making yourself that much more visible and making it that much easier for people to access information about you, which gives you that much better a chance of getting new customers of building your business. And that's what it's all about at the end of the day, is keeping your information organized and managing it in such a way that it's easy to disseminate and it's quick to disseminate so that people can find you and people can find out what you're all about. And based on that, they can make a decision, hopefully one that includes wanting to do business with you. Have a great week. Hope you enjoyed the webcast. And I look forward to seeing you around 
online. Join us on the social networking websites. Ask us. We'll email you our PowerPoint, our PowerPoint business card is what I'll call it. Have a great week.